Hey, hey, it's me again for another three-minute jog, this time on certain aspects of the River Tees, which is your Rivers case study for paper one. Okay, let's have a look. First of all, in the upper course, you have got Cow Green Reservoir. Here you can see it in all of its stature. It is a very big reservoir. Uh, this is important for flood control. It helps to regulate the, f the discharge of water in the River Tees. If it's running a bit dry, they can let more water out. If there is bad weather and it's raining, they can store more water. So it helps to control flooding. It stores water for the uh, for the industry and sort of homes in Teesside. Again, useful. And it attracts tourists. Uh, people can go walking and biking and trekking around it. And they all spend money in the local economy. In B&Bs, cafes, shops. So it attracts income to the area as well. So again, just a nice specific dam for you there. High Force is one of the biggest waterfalls in the United Kingdom. And this is also in the upper course of the River Tees. That extra little bit of AO1 for you. The hard rock on top is windstone. And the soft rock on the bottom layer is a limestone. The waterfall is actively retreating due to undercutting leaving behind a very impressive gorge. And High Force is actively retreating. It is moving backwards. So yeah, just bearing in mind those specific types of rock are very, are very useful for this waterfall. Okay. And finally, for our River Tees, this is the Tees Barrage, a very impressive piece of infrastructure, all designed to control uh, river tidal flooding so as the tide comes into the Tees, it can often it could often cause flooding. Well, not anymore, because the Tees barrage can close its gates to stop that tidal water causing a flood. Uh, there is a international white water rafting course there as well, as you can see. This course provides its own green energy, so it sustains itself and provides power to the grid. Uh, as you can see here, the, the barrage really does fill up. Okay, It's an excellent defence against tidal flooding. Uh, they've actually also installed a prototype tidal energy turbine here. So this uh, barrage is a very important research tool as well. And it has also got a fish channel. So the migratory fish in the River Tees can still find their way up and downstream as they need to. So again, very important piece of infrastructure here. Knowing a little bit about this will go a long way. That was your 3 minute jog on the River Tees. Thank you very much.